North One Group Two. We have a, a bracket here with a lot of Bergen County teams, yep. and then West, West Essex, Essex. Mm -hmm. your favorite. That's right. You know, they always seem to emerge from here. What a great program that is. That wing tee offense that they run, ball control, ball control, ball control. Get the lead, little play action, keep the lead, kill the clock. That's how West Essex plays football. That's how they're doing it this year with a tremendous backfield that they have. And they're doing it with an, under a new coach. Chris Benacquista is first-year head coach, but he played at West Essex. He coached under Dave Drozdjak at West Essex, and now he's the head coach of West Essex, so nothing changes there. You've got... You know, Stephen O'Neill, DJ Hamker, Anthony Pompey, three running backs out of that, uh, that offense, running dive, running belly, running sweep, killing you, killing the clock. They're, they're tough, West Essex. I think they can take it all. You think at the end of the day, though, it'll be Riverdale that's trying to take them down in that championship? Yeah, I definitely do. Riverdale right now has, been, has played very, very solid, consistent football. Uh, they're 8-1 and one right now. They've got a really solid team. Timothy Barnes, quarterback, really good, solid job. The line has been solid, strong, protecting him, giving him, you know, uh, some mo mobility back there. And Kevin Barry, really good, solid running back. They have some other people, but those two guys have been really steady, really consistent. I think they're good enough to get through to that final against West Essex. I don't think they have the manpower or, or the veteran um, background to beat West Essex. West Essex is a really a senior-driven team this year. I think right now they're built to win the championship. Team looking to throw a wrench in things. Hopat Kong, the seventh seed here in this this section. Why not? Yeah, right. You know, Hopat on seventh seed, uh, balanced ground game with uh, Johan Lara and Dan Musel. They've got some other people, but you, when you have the balanced ground game like they have, you can do some things. If you can get a lead, you can do some things. If they don't have a lead, I think Hopat on struggles a little bit. That's why they're the seventh seed because they've struggled a little bit when they've been down. They're not a team that comes back from behind real well. But they can get the lead if they can and they establish it, and they'll establish ball control. But if they get all the way there, when they get to West Essex, they're not going to establish the ball control West Essex is going to do. I just think that's the way it's going to play out. Well, we'll see if something else happens.